Now on NBC6, a child death investigation underway in Miami-Dade. We're live with the breaking details. Plus, a scare from above a family's home left with a hole on the roof. And he helped the Heat get a major win last night. And tonight, Dwayne Wade saying it was all thanks to divine intervention. Live, the news on NBC6 six at 6 starts now. We begin with breaking news right now. Sources saying Miami-Dade Public School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho will be leaving South Florida and heading to New York. Yeah, NBC6 anchor Trina Robinson joins us live from the breaking news desk with a big announcement here. Trina. Yeah, this is a really big announcement, Juwan. Miami-Dade School Superintendent moving on from the Magic City to the Big Apple. Sources in New York City are telling NBC6 that Cavallo, Alberto Cavallo, will lead their team as New York City's school chancellor. Now, Cavallo is also leaving the fourth largest school district in the U.S., heading for the largest one. He is taking over for Carmen Farina, who is retiring. Now, Cavallo attended Miami Jackson Senior High School, Broward College, then Barry University. Now, so far, there's been no comment from Alberto Cavallo, who became superintendent of Miami Dade Public Schools back in 2008. Now, Cavallo has since become a leading education advocate in the nation. Officially, the Miami Dade School Board says no comment, but we did get comment from Ileana Ross Leighton. She says we will miss your leadership, but can't wait to see the miracles you will perform in New York City. Reporting live from the breaking news desk, Trina Robinson, NBC6 News. Before we go tonight, a quick look at today's top stories. Miami-Dade County Public School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho is leaving South Florida and heading to New York City. Sources tell us he will be taking over for Carmen Farina, who is retiring as New York City Schools Chancellor. Carvalho has not commented on the big news. Well, two weeks after the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School, students returned to school today. They were met by hugs from law enforcement and more than 40 therapy dogs, all part of an effort to make the students feel safe following Following the deaths of 17 class members and staff. And you can follow these stories and get the latest breaking news and weather anytime right on your phone. Just download the NBC6 app. It's free in the App Store. There, were, there was actually a horse there as well. Wow. As one wow. of the service mm, no, animals. I didn't, I yeah. didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah. So it yeah, wasn't so they can dogs. make a difference. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. And the weather a couple more days before it gets cooler? Yeah, count down to the cold <laughs> to our cold <laughs> Friday's cold. <laughs> good night, everyone. Have a good one. <laughs>